two men walked into the rainforest moments before the forest had been alive with sound of squawking birds and howling monkeys. Now all was quiet as the creatures watched the two men wondered by the head cup. The larger man stopped and pointed the, to the great cape up tree. Then he left. The smaller man took his axe and carried and struck the tree. Whack, whack, whack. The sound of the blood blows rang through the forest. The wood of the tree was very hard. Chop, chop, chop. The man wiped off the sweat and ran down his face and neck. Whack, chop, whack, chop. Soon the man grew tired. He sat down to rest at the foot of the great K-pop tree. Before soon, before he knew it, the heat and hunt of the forest had rolled down the sleep. A golden tricker lived in the K-pop tree. He slithered down his trunk to where the man was sleeping. He looked at the gash in the axe and made the tree. Then the huge snake slid very closely close to the man and hissed in his ear. Senor, this tree is a tree of miracles. It is my home. For generations of my ancestors have lived. Do not chop it down. It be a buzz in the sleeping man's ear. <laughs> Senor, my hide is in this K-pop tree. It has lies from tree to tree and flower to flower to a thin And this way, I pollinate trees and flowers throughout the rainforest. You see, pollinate the monkeys along the A troop of monkeys scampered down from the canopy of the peanut tree. One of them chattered and listened to the sleeping man. Senor, we have seen the way to man. You chop down one tree, then come back for another and another. The roots of these great trees will wither and die, and there will be nothing left to hold the earth in place. When the heavy rains come, the soil will be washed away, and the forest will become a desert. A toucan flew down from the canopy. A, the toucan squawked. Senor, you must not cut down this tree. We have flown over the rainforest and seen what has happened once you begin to cut, chop down the tree. Many people settle on the land. They set fires to clear the underbrush. Soon, the forest disappears. Where once there was life and beauty, only sm black and smoldering ruins remain. A great, small tree frog clawed along the edge of the leaf. In a squeaky voice, he piped through the man's ear. Senor, a ruined rainforest means ruined lives. Many ruined lives. You will leave many of us homeless if you chop down the great cave off trees. <coughs> a jaguar had been sleeping along the branch in the middle of the tree. Because his spotted coat burned into the dapple of light of the shadows in the of the understory, no one had noticed him. Now he leaped down and, put, and padded slightly over to the sleeping man. He growled at his ear. Senor, the cape box tree is home to many birds and animals. Will you cut it down? Where will I find my dinner? A tree porcupine swung down from branch to branch and whispered into the man. Senor, do you know what we animals and humans need in order to live? Oxygen. And senor, do you know what the trees produce? Oxygen. If you cut down the forest, you will destroy that which gives us all life. <laughs> Several antidotes climbed down the cave park tree with their young queen to the rest. One ant eater said to the sleeping man, Senor, you are chopping down this tree with no thought for the future. And surely you know that what happens tomorrow depends on upon what you do today. The big man tells you to chop down a beautiful tree. He does not think of his own children, who tomorrow must live in a world without trees. A three toed slope I began climbing down from the canopy when the man first appeared. Only now did she reach the grove, gliding ever so slowly over to the sleeping man. She spoke in her deep, lazy voice. From the Yanamano tribe who lived in the rainforest, knelt over to the sleeping man. He murmured in his ear. Senor, in your way, please look upon us all with new eyes. 
The man awoke with a start. Before him stood the rainforest trap, and all around him, starting, were the creatures who depended upon the great cave of trees. What wondrous and rare animals they were! The man looked around and saw the sun streaming through the canopy. Spots of, of bright light glowed like a jewel. Amidst the dark green forest, strange and beautiful plants seemed to dangle in the air, suspended from the great cave of trees. The man smelled a fragrant perfume of their flowers. He felt screamy mist rising from the forest floor, but he heard no sound, for the creatures were straightly silent. The man stood and picked up his axe, swung it back through his arm, in order to strike the tree. tree. Suddenly, he stopped and turned and looked at the animals in the trap. He hesitated. Then he dropped the axe and walked out to the rainforest.